हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नूर नेटवर्क्स जस्ट टू रिकॉल इन अवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव डाउनलोडेड एफ आई बिग आई पी इमेज फाइल फ्रॉम एफ आई वेबसाइट एंड इम्पोर्टेड दैट फाइल इन टू अवर वी एम वेयर वर्क स्टेशन वी हैव एक्सेस द अप्लायंस थ्रू अ सी एल आई यूजिंग द डिफॉल्ट क्रेडेंशियल्स यूजिंग अ रूट यूजर एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर वेन वी वर डाउनलोडिंग एट दैट टाइम the notified uh, the notice we have received from on the fi website that the licenses will be sent to your registered email address within next 30 minutes so guys we have received that in our email but before we proceed with the activation of the licenses uh, this particular tutorial i have kept for showing you the vmware networking configuration maybe many of our colleagues might be aware how to set up this lab in the vmware workstation but i will be showing so that you will have a better understanding those who have a limited exposure on this will have a better understanding so to prepare this lab the very first thing what we are going to do is we will be adding the vmware networks in our vmware workstation we will add vmnet1 vmnet2 and then vmnet3 let's open our vmware workstation uh, click on edit over here then go to virtual network editor then over here in virtual network editor click on change setting we are going to add three networks and on this three networks we are going to define the network addresses as per our lab topology so vm network 1 vm net 1 The network address will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot zero slash twenty four. Let's add the network from here. Drag down menu. You can select VMNet one. Keep all the settings as default. Just uncheck this because we don't need DSCP services. And the subnet IP over here we will change it as per our lab topology, which will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot zero, and the subnet will be two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. So we have added VMNet one and define the address over here, subnet address. Let's add VMNet two also. Click on OK. And in VMNet two we need one seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot zero slash twenty four. So in VMNet two Uh, what we are going to do all the things will be as default just uncheck this dscp service from here and define the subnet ip 172.16.1.0 the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and the third network which is vmnet3 will be 10.1.1.0/24 we uh, let's add vmnet3 okay and as usual keep the default uh, settings as default just uncheck this dscp service from here and define subnet 10.1.1.0 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 let's cross check once yes it is 10.1.1.0 so once you have added this network click on apply setting over here to for the changes to take effect okay so guys we have added all this three vm networks now the second thing what we are going to do is see if you will see uh, the big ip has three ports as per our lab topology one will be a management port another will be the external port and one will be the internal port so this is basically your physical host and the management port will be connected to vmnet1 we are not going to do anything over here but yes on the management port the big ip management port we are going to connect to vmnet1 
But before uh, configuring the network adapters for the big IP, very first we will be connecting the network adapters for our client machines. So if you will see the client machine over here, like uh, the machine which is on the external side, okay, it has an IP address 172.16.1.15 and it is supposed to be connected to VMNet. So uh, the very first thing what we are going to do, we will connect the network adapter of this machine to VMNet 2. Let's go to VMware workstation over here and you will have a client machine, right? So this client machine, we will connect to VMNet 2 as per our lab topology. So we have created VMNet 2, right? Let's edit this over here uh, in network adapter, select VMNet 2 and click OK. So basically, we have connected this machine to the VMNet 2 as per our lab topology. Let's connect this web servers also which we have already installed. So this web servers will be connected to VMNet 3. So let's connect this as well. The web server 1 will be connected to VMNet 3 as per our lab topology. Choose this as VMNet 3 and click OK. Similarly, the web server 2 will be connected to VMNet 3. Uh, you can see and the web server 3 will be also connected to the network adapter of VMNet the network adapter of web server 3 also will be connected to vmnet 3 as you can see over here so guys now what we did we have created three vm networks vmnet 1 vmnet 2 vmnet 3 with the subnet ip as per our lab topology we have added the network adapter the vm networks as per our lab topology the client machine network adapter is connected to vmnet 2 the web server network adapters are connected to vmnet Moving on, the last part which is remaining is uh, connecting the network adapters of the big IP to the VM networks accordingly as per our lab topology. So uh, what I have done, like we have three ports, the management port, we have the internal port and we have the external port. And the management port is supposed to be connected to VMNet 1. The external port is supposed to be connected to VMNet 2 and the internal port is supposed to be connected to VMNet 3. So we will go to VM workstation over here, just right click over here and go to settings to edit this machine. You will see that you have four network adapters for this machine. However, the fourth network adapter is of no use. You can simply remove this from here or if you want to keep it, it's okay. It's up to you. So guys, uh, what we are going to do, just let me open this here, the management interface, which is supposed to be connected to VMNet 1 as per our lab topology, we are going to connect this to network adapter, the first one. So let's go and do it. The network adapter will be our, this uh, particular network adapter will be our manage, will be connecting to the management port. So go to custom and say VMNet 1. Similarly, the network adapter 2, which is our external interface be connecting to will be connecting to vmnet 2 this uh, this second port will be your external port of the in a big ip f5 big ip so let's connect this to vmnet 2 and the network adapter 3 let me show you this as well the network adapter 3 will be vmnet 3 which is, will be connecting to internal port VMNet 3 to network adapter 3. Let's custom this and click on VMNet 3 and click on OK over here. So guys, uh, this is how you will be setting up your lab. You will be defining the VM networks and just add a note of one thing that the configuration which we have done now is very much important if you do a mistakes over here there is a possibility you may face issue and you won't be able to proceed further with the lab so when you are defining a vm network be careful uh, about the ip schemes and connecting the vmware network to your network adapters of the virtual machines so you can just add a note of this thing and you will never face the issues while doing the lab further so guys, that's all about the VMware networking and setting up your lab in the VMware workstation. So in the next uh, tutorial, what we are going to do is 
very first we are going to set up our management IP address on the F5 big IP through a CLI and we will proceed with the activation of the licenses. The licenses uh, which we have received in our email and I, that I have shown you in the previous tutorial. That's all in this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it now. See you in the next tutorial.